Man, I can't let you in without your ticket. Just like this girl who was trying to get through the gate, we're going to have to stand before God one day. And God's either going to say two things. He's, going to, he's either going to say, Welcome in, my faithful servant. Or two, depart from me. I do not know you. In John 14, 6, it says, Jesus is saying, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus suffered and sacrificed himself on the cross for our sins. He offers us the only way to heaven. Do you have the ticket? Now there's a story. And in the story, there's two men. One man has a ticket. He's lived his life for God and did everything he could for his kingdom. Then there's a second man. Now this second man's greedy. He thinks he can live his life the way he wanted and do little things on the side and take things to make it look like he was good so he was thinking he could make it to heaven. So in this story, the demanding man comes to the man with the ticket and says, give me just a little bit of that ticket. So the man rips off a little piece of the ticket and gives it to the demanding man. Now the demanding man when he got the ticket, he looked at it and said, maybe if I had a little bit more of that, I could get more rewards in heaven. So he comes back to the man and says, Rip off another piece of that ticket. So the man does it again. So when the demanding man went to God, he gave God his ticket. And God looked at it, and it spelled out hell. So he said to the man, he said, This shows me that you are not my son. Depart from me. See, why his ticket spelled out hell was because he didn't live the life he was supposed to. He lived the life he wanted to. And he thought he could be like a thief and a robber. See, a thief and a robber takes things for what they, for what they want. And they don't do what they are supposed to, and they just go on the sides and just take it. So that's what this man did. And he, what he found out was, that's not what it's supposed to be. That's not how, it's, that's not how it happened. So the man with the ticket comes to God, and he gives God his ticket. God looks at the ticket and says, this shows that you are my son. Welcome in. In Ephesians um, 8, to 8 through 10, it says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for God works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Now when I was a little kid me and my grandpa we used to play church and when I was a little kid I always dreamed of being a preacher so I always asked him I said let me be the preacher let me preach so he always let me but every time I preached I only preached about one thing and that was called the ticket so when I was little my way of explaining how to be saved and how to come to heaven was through a ticket. So when you got saved, you got a ticket and you had to hold on to it. So when you died, you gave it to Jesus so you could go through the gate. So every time I saw somebody, I always asked them, I said, you got that ticket? Do you, uh, do you need that ticket? And if you don't have that ticket, you better get it. <coughs> so a few years ago, I lost that ticket. See, my grandpa, he was in an accident. And I came to him right before they was take, about to take off his life support. And I told him, I said, Poppy, you've got that ticket. Now I'll make sure I get it so I can see you and God one day. So after that night, I got upset and mad. And the reason why was because just four days before my grandpa died, he, he gave his heart to Jesus. He got that ticket. See, through life, he was always teaching me the way and the how to get that ticket. But I never knew that he didn't. And when I found out he finally gave it, it just made me upset. So instead of doing the right thing and letting God take control of my life, I went the wrong way and started doing sinful things. See, what I realized now, what I did it then was, even though I was being the worst that I possibly could, I was sinning, I was doing everything wrong, I didn't realize God was still there right behind me. See, even though we do things wrong, 
God is still going to be right there. And all he's waiting was for me and for the others who do things wrong is for us to call out to him and say, God, I need that ticket. I need that ticket because I cannot live this way anymore. That's all he's wanting y'all to do. So, I'm going to ask you all something. If y'all want this ticket, if you want to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and allow him to take control of your life and let him take you to where you're supposed to go and not try to do what the world wants you to do and not what she wants to do, but believe in God that through the thick and thin, through your good days and your bad, that he will help you through it, that he'll take you through the storm. If you want this, I, I want to ask you to say three things. One, accept. Accept God into your life. Accept him and, and just trust in him. Two, believe. Believe God that he will help you through the storm. Believe God that when you feel like nobody else loves you, when you're hurt, and you feel like you have no one, believe that he's still there with you. Believe that he loves you and that he will never leave you. And lastly, confess. Confess to Jesus that you are a sinner and that you was born a sinner. Confess to him that you cannot live the life without him. Confess to him and tell him, Lord, I need you. I need you to help me. Because, Lord, sometimes I feel like I ain't got nothing and I ain't got the strength. God, give me that strength and help me through my days. Confess to him for that. See, when people think about the cross, they think about what God did through his life in Christians. See, people usually don't think about what happened on the cross. See, the cross wasn't a happy thing. See, a man died for us. Think about that. Somebody died for our sins so we could have the opportunity to get this ticket. And this wasn't just an ordinary man. It was Jesus Christ, God's son. See, in the Bible, in John 3, 16, it says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever live, believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. See, God suffered. He sacrificed his life for all of you. So I ask you, if you want this tip, if you want God to help you, to help you through your hard days and to help you through your good, I ask you all to pray, to accept, believe, and confess to him. So if y'all would, would you all please pray, pray with me? Dear God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this moment, Lord, for letting us all come together for your good. Lord, I ask you, Lord, if there's a child or a person here, Lord, that does not have you in their life, that does not accept you as their Savior, and Lord, who wants this ticket, Lord, I ask you to give them. Lord, I ask you to help them, Lord. And Lord, let them understand that when they accept this and when they hang on to this ticket, the devil is going to try any way possible to destroy them, to bring them down, and try to take them to back where they used to be. Lord, I ask you to help them. Lord I, Lord, I ask you to give them strength and give them courage through this fight in your kingdom, Lord. Let them be strong people in your arm. And once again, Lord, I ask you, Lord, if they need this ticket, Lord, I ask you to not let them receive it. And Lord, when they receive it, let them hang on to it. And Lord, just let them realize that with you, all things are possible. All things will turn out good. Lord, I thank you again for all that you do. And I praise you and I love you forever, Lord. In your heavenly name, amen. 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 Appreciate it.